Well, the edge piece series is very simple to understand and simple to do. It's just the interaction of two faces with each other. So the first one I'll do is front, right prime, front prime, right. And you can see all I've done is moved that face and then that face, and then I've undone those two moves in the same order. And what we see here is that the only things that have been affected are pieces that are sort of joining on those two faces. And as far as the edges go, these three edges are the only edges that have been moved. This was the white orange edge, and you can see that has now been moved down to there. This was the orange green edge, which has been moved up to there. And this one was the white green, which has been moved up to there. Interestingly, you'll notice that the white orange has retained its orientation. So I can just turn that back and it's correctly oriented. So has the green orange. That's retained its orientation. But the white green, which came from here, has not. That's been flipped. So if we undo that and have a look why that might be the case, what we see is that the white orange turns into its position head on. Uh, we also see that the white green, because I'm going to turn that down second, then it goes up to here, so it does not turn into its position head on. What about the orange green? Well, firstly, that gets turned out of the way, and then its position gets put there, and then it goes back into that position and turns up. And that's why that, uh, the orange green and the white orange, both retain their orientation. Now, it do doesn't just have to be those two faces, I could do uh, let's see, I could do an up and a right. So I could do something like up prime, then right, then up, then right prime. And I would still see three edges have been involved only. This is why it's called the edge piece series. Those three edges there. Um, what else could I do? I could certainly do a double move. So I could do a front, and instead of just a right, I could do a right two, and a front prime, and then a right too. Once again, that edge now is in position still. That hasn't been affected. This one has, this one has, and the other one is that one over there. So as long as you interact three faces, sorry, two faces, with three edges will be moved. Important to know that the faces must interact. So in other words, I can't just go that one, then that one, and then that one, then that one. Well, I can because I just did it, but nothing happens. The only other thing to say about the edge piece series is that you'll notice that corners are also involved and that's generally why we use the edge piece series before the corner piece series and um, so the, the corners will be moved around and if I do this again I've moved my edges again and the corners have gone again and if I do it a third time because there were three edges involved it was a three cycle so now my edges are back but my corners Something interesting has happened with them. They've actually done a bit of a swap in each of them as well. So if I repeat that again th three times, in other words, a total of six times, what I'll find is that the cube returns to solved position. So that is the Edge Piece series. It is just a one-one commutator and very simple.